family businesses is one of my favorite topic. Why do family businesses don't succeed after the third or the fourth generation in most of the cases? To answer this question in short, let's understand how the big challenge starts with the first generation. Those who's building the empire starting the empire, crafting the empire, put the strategy around it, build the most important thing in family businesses and other uh, businesses, which is the connection, the network, the lead to receive what will make them successful in their business. The first generation will put that beautiful foundation and they will start building on it. The second generation is very much involved. They see it from the beginning. They understand the suffering on building this. They understand the bricks that was put together to make this beautiful structure. They understand what does it take to become successful. Generation number three, because they have been receiving the beautiful living standard from their previous generations, they don't have the same desire of the continuancy and they don't have the experience in some cases. And in some, some cases they say, we have enough till the retirement day. So it was running by itself by those who've been hired to do the job and get paid for the job, which is the consultants in the family businesses or the board of the trustees or those who is in charge of sustaining the growth in family businesses. But beyond all those things, family members have the decision in the new contract and the decision in some critical issues. That's why when it comes to family businesses continuously, we see that through the third and the fourth generation, the problem starts. The ego is getting so big in some of the cases, and some of them wants to be independent with the legacy that was built by the previous uh, founders and the previous uh, generations. Another thing that is there is that they want to run things by themselves and not to trust uh, the independency of the management. And that's a bigger hiccup when it comes to how to run things in the right prospective and family businesses. But another bigger challenge is the organizational culture change. The way that the whole family business was built in the first generation and the second continuance generation and maybe the third, it was built in a, in a specific years in a specific arena in a specific way those ways was good and implemented about this particular time but it's not necessary that the same practice can be implemented today and in some other cases the foundation of the rules and regulation is being missed of implementing and it comes to new generations that takes over Generations is trying to change the culture in a way that it don't cope with the current situation. And that's where everything gets collapsed. To learn about this topic and more other topics that we share with everyone, subscribe to my website and to the upcoming workshops that we have. Join us and let's build together a beautiful future.